Hey, Busy, you ever been serenaded before? No, I haven't, Mr. Billy, but guess what? I love serenading the kids through fun story times. Whoa, and that's the theme of today's story time. It's time. Hey, hey bud, just calm down. Our story of the day is Nova and the Magical Serenade, written by Portia Smith. Wow, let's dive on in. Nova loved books. They were her best friends, her escape, her sanctuary. She could lose herself in the pages of her favorite stories where she could explore fantastical worlds and characters without having to speak a word. Speaking was hard for Nova. She was a shy child who rarely uttered a sound. Whoa. Her parents and teachers knew she had a brilliant mind and a kind heart, but they seldom heard a voice. Nova kept her thoughts and feelings locked away in her imagination where no one to see them. Whoa. Noble silence made her feel like an outsider among her peers. She felt different from everyone else. Whoa. She didn't like loud noises, bright colors, or crowded places. She preferred the calmness of nature, the beauty of music, and the of a room. She often watched from a distance, wondering what it was like to laugh and chat with ease. She wished she could join them, but she didn't know how to break the ice. She worried they might not like her, or worse, ignore her. So she stayed in her own corner, hoping someone would notice her and reach out to her. One breezy day, as Nova sat near her window, a melody sweeter than honey swept into a room. It was as if the wind had delivered a special song just for her. She looked outside and saw a colorful songbird sitting on a nearby branch. It was a melodic voice resonating with encouragement and compassion. Curious, she leaned closer to the window. The bird's song drawing her in like a magnet. Whoa! To her surprise, the colorful songbird, whom she later named Serenade, hopped onto her windowsill. It fluffed its feathers and chirped softly. Chirp, 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 chirp. As if to say, Hello back! Serenade's presence filled Nova with comfort and wonder. She felt a connection with the bird that she had never felt with anyone else. Whoa! Wow, that's a cool looking bird, Serenade! I know, Mr. Billy, do you think I'm a bird? No, 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 you're an insect, you're not a bird. Yes, I am, Mr. Billy, I can fly! Uh, FYI, Bees are insects. Can you... Can you understand me? Nova asks, feeling a surge of courage. Serenade nodded and sang a few notes as if to say yes. <gasps> Nova gasped. She couldn't believe it. A bird that could understand her and talk to her through music. It was like a dream come true. Oh. Thank you, Nova said, smiling for the first time in a long time. Let me see your smiles, my little ones. Serenade looked at her with twinkling eyes and sang a melody that sounded like a hug. Nova reached out her hand, slowly 
hoping to touch the soft rainbow colored feathers of her new friend. Oh. Hey Busy, how come you ain't got no feathers? What are you talking about, Mr. Billy? I got good looking skin. What is that, velvet? Instead of flying away, Serenade stayed by Nova's side, showing his trust and gratitude. Serenade moved closer to Nova's hand, rubbing his head gently against her palm, as if he was thanking her for kindness. Nova felt the warm and fuzzy feeling in her heart she touched Serenade's feathers. As the days turned into weeks, Nova and Serenade became inseparable friends. Serenade's songs filled Nova's room with joy and harmony. Each note was like a hug of friendship. Nova would listen if Serenade was telling her amazing stories from faraway lands through music. Wow. Nova remained quiet most of the time, but with Serenade, silence wasn't lonely. She found herself smiling more and even began to hum along with Serenade's song. With each shared song, Nova felt lighter. Her worries melting away. She even began to hum her thoughts and feelings, finding the sound of her own voice. Beautiful. Whoa. As her confidence blossomed, she decided to step out of her safe corner. With newfound courage and serenade by her side, she was ready to start a new adventure. Yeah. One day, they saw some kids playing soccer in the park. Nova longed to join, but hesitated. She had never played soccer before, and she didn't know if the kids would welcome her. Serenade nudged her gently, encouraged her to go ahead. He sang a song that sounded like a cheer, telling Nova that she can do it. Wow. Hi, can I play with you? Nova asked, her voice small, but clear. The kids stopped playing, surprised. They hear Nova speak. One of them, Mia, smiled and said, Sure, what's your name? And what's that bird? I'm Nova, and this is Serenade, my friend. Nova replied, her voice growing. Stronger. Whoa. Nice to meet you, Nova. And Serenade is a cool name for a bird, Mia said, intrigued. Nova smiled, explaining how Serenade communicated with her through music. They sang a song together, amazing the other kids who invited Nova to join their game. As Nova laughed and played, her heart light and full of joy, she realized how far she had come. With Serenade's encouragement, she ain't just found her voice, she had discovered the courage to use it. She also discovered the joy of friendship. Mia and the other kids were kind and friendly to her. They taught her how to play soccer and complimented her on her skills. They also admired Serenade and his songs. They asked Miss Nova if she wanted to hang out with them after the game. Nova agreed, feeling happy and excited. Wow. She looked at Serenade, who winked at her and sang a song that sounded like a celebration. He was proud of Nova for overcoming her shyness and making new friends. Nova hugged Serenade and thanked him for being her best friend. Wow. 
she realized that he had given her more than just music. He had given her hope and confidence. She also realized she had something to give back to him. She had given him love and companionship. Together, they had created a magical bond that no one could break. The end. Wow! Hey, Busy, that was a fun story. What did you think of that story? Oh, man, Mr. Big, I love that story. Shout out to Portia Smith. Whoa! Portia Smith has been a huge supporter of Free King Visions. Hey, hey, Busy, I got this. We appreciate all the support you've done for us, Portia Smith. Please go to our website. I'm going to put the link in the bio. Purchase and support our books. We love our independent authors. Whoa! And don't forget, y'all, subscribe to Three Key Bitches on YouTube. We appreciate all the support. Until next time, goodbye. Three Key Vision.